Hello, Cheap Skaters. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheap Skates Club, where our goal is to live life debt free, cashed up, and laughing. If this is your first visit to our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, please click that subscribe button below me and then the little bell icon. It helps our channel grow but it helps you too because you'll be notified every time we go live or upload a video and you won't miss out. Chief Skaters, inflation is hitting grocery budgets hard, but we can still get what we need without going broke. Food is the one thing we have absolute control over as far as what we buy and therefore what we pay or how much we spend. So look for cheaper products. You can substitute for your regular products. They're out there. Look for markdowns. Keep your eyes peeled as you go through the store, looking for markdowns, deliberately looking for those markdowns. Now I've noticed that there aren't as many around anymore, but they can still be had if we look for them. Shop at alternatives to regular supermarkets. The Reject Shop, Kmart, $2 shops, even chemists all um, carry grocery lines. Some food, pet supplies, cleaning supplies, toiletries. Um, and they can be a lot cheaper than at the um, Majors or even Aldi. So... Be prepared to shop in different places. Change your meal plan and serve cheaper meals. Bit of a no-brainer, but it's something that we all hesitate to do. But remember this, cheaper doesn't need to be bland and flavourless. Get out your recipe books and put them to use. Go through those folders Look through your emails for all those recipes that you have saved over the years and put them to use. Look for tasty, family-friendly meals that use basic ingredients. And on that note, I bet you know what I'm going to say. Buy ingredients. I can't stress this enough. Ingredients give you options and they make your shopping cheaper and they help you to avoid food fatigue because you have the option to change things up. Grow some of what you eat. You don't have to grow it all. I don't think any of us actually can grow it all, but we can all grow some. It's another thing I keep on saying, but if a packet of seeds is $2 and it grows, for example, 40 lettuce, then it's worth it because each lettuce will cost five cents. Compare five cents per lettuce to the $6.99 I'm seeing locally or $11.99 per lettuce, the price that's being reported and hitting all over social media, and you'll be able to see, won't you, just how much growing lettuce that you use can save you. And if you're really good at it, something else to think about, it could become a side hustle. You could sell or trade the produce you grow for things that you need. While we're on the subject of produce, check the prices of frozen vegetables and compare them to fresh. Now, often frozen veggies are cheaper per kilo than fresh, even in-season fresh vegetables. And nutrition-wise, frozen veg is just as good, if not better, than fresh. Now, Someone's going to go, that can't be right. Well, actually, it can be. Um, there are a couple of reasons, but the main one is frozen vegetables are usually processed really quickly, really, really quickly, and that saves nutrients. Where fresh veg can linger in a cooler at the farm, then a cooler at the market, then a cooler at the store, and then they linger in the produce bin at the supermarket before you buy it and take it home 
to linger longer in the veggie crisper in the fridge where it's going to be old by the time you eat it and old means those nutrients are dropping so frozen could be a better option than fresh buy the bigger packet or tin if it is cheaper now coles sell diced tomatoes for 80 cents a 400 gram can they sell 800 gram cans double this quantity double the size for a dollar fifty that's a 10 cent saving over buying two cans now i do double up cooking so it just makes sense to buy bigger tins and save the 10 cents it does or if you don't do double up cooking why not you should be but you can freeze half the can for the next time you need only a small can now i know that coles and woolworths also sell tin tomatoes for 60 cents a can the 80 cent tomatoes are better value simply because trust me on this and you can try it if you want to there is more tomato and less juice in the cans so i splurge and spend the extra 20 cents a can it's worth it to me i'd rather buy more solid fruit and less juice water because that's not what i want i want the tomatoes next thing compare the unit prices between brands compare the unit prices between the same item in different sizes in a particular brand sometimes something may look cheaper when it's not packaging can be deceptive and just because the box is bigger or even the same size doesn't mean the contents are the same. Check the unit price. It's on the bottom of the price tag. It's easy to see. It usually says per 100 grams or per kilo. And you can work it out from there. And lastly, only cook the amount you need. Not having any waste is going to save a lot of money. Now, I know you can freeze your leftovers, and I do that. And if you use them, that's great. But if you don't use them, then you are going to have a freezer full of leftovers doing nothing. And that is an absolute waste. If you don't think you'll eat or use leftovers, plan to not have them plan to prepare just enough for the meal and that's it now there's a chart explaining um, portion sizes of various foods on our website over at the cheapskates club and i will put the link below me so that you can have a look at it it will help you know um, how much of each thing you need to prepare for the number of serves Another thing um, that is really handy to have, and you'll get it at a $2 shop, probably an off shop, but definitely a $2 shop, is a pasta measurer thingy. It usually looks like a fat ruler. It's got holes in it, and it'll tell you, like, one adult, two adults, three adults, whatever, and little holes, and that will tell you how much pasta to use to give you the perfect serve for the number of people you are feeding you can enjoy your pasta as long as you are getting the right amount and not having leftovers okay that's just a few simple and very easy ways we can all fight food inflation um, at the supermarket and stick to our grocery budget now if you have other ideas please share them in the comments below me um, down there because we all need as much help with this as we can get. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you know someone who might like this video or who might benefit from knowing about the Cheapskates Club, please use the share button to send them the link. And before I go, I'll say it again. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, 
click that subscribe button below me, then click the bell and select how often you want to be notified of new videos on our channel. It helps YouTube, but more importantly, it helps our channel to be recognized more easily. And the more easy it is to find us, the easier it is to spread the message that it is okay to live death free, cashed up and laughing, and it can still be done even in today's world. Happy cheapskating, everyone. I'll see you next time.